The big story we've been tracking very, very closely on NDTV, the Vyanad landslides, Kerala's worst ever natural disaster. And well, the death toll continues to mount. Over 373 people have died. This as rescue operations continue. Of course, the army has stepped in as well. It's day six of the rescue operations. Remember, that key bridge that was constructed day before yesterday has helped the army in reaching far-flung areas of the epicenter of the Vyanar landslides. There you can see that helicopter Sarang, which has been extremely instrumental in the rescue operations. Of course, the political blame game continues, but the focus also now on the rehabilitation of the displaced families and homes. My colleague Pratibha Raman reports. There are several thousands of people who are gathered here who are uh, trying to see if they could uh, find details about the missing persons. They're near and dear ones whose bodies are yet to be found. They're near and dear ones who they are still hopeful that perhaps uh, they could be stranded somewhere. So the rescue operations are on in full swing. We are talking of day six and uh, with the help of drone technology as well as thermal scanners, uh, the NDRF teams, the SDRF, uh, the defense teams, all of them working in sync there. In fact, even yesterday there was a miraculous uh, uh, escape of uh, some of the stranded people with the help of forest officials. The tribals were moved to a safer location there. So some of those very, very distressing stories that we hear, but hope is still alive with respect to more and more survivors who can perhaps be found with the help of all this uh, technology here. But distressing scenes out here because they are still trying to see if they can find their near and dear ones. And those are the kind of tales that they are narrating out here and one cannot really begin to fathom the kind of pain and the loss that they have to endure their homes gone their families gone and they have absolutely no idea how to restart their lives back to you and well as i said earlier the political blame game of course continues the state administration says that the rescue operations have now reached their final phases listen in to all the reactions that have come in the rescue operation is going in uh, you know, full strength. So, so uh, today, uh, 1,300 plus forces are deployed on different sectors, different zones that we have identified. Along with that, local volunteers are also there. So, uh, more than 2,000 people have been participating in the rescue operation, and the same thing is continuing today also. Today, uh, yesterday, there was a situation wherein uh, the volunteers who went for the rescue operation were stranded in the water. So, to ensure that whoever reaches there also comes back safely, today we are, you know, uh, taking the correct count of uh, the people who are coming inside. We have divided the entire area into six zones and we authorize one senior officer for every zone. Under his leadership, every unit contained 40 members. We are seeking help from local knowledge and local people who know the area and river better than the forces. This is the operational method today we have adopted. We are at a loss of words. How to describe this? You have to, this is, this is something this is an hour of crisis, hour of tragedy. So we have now, all our focus is on rescue and relief. You know, so far all the bodies have not been recovered. So rescue work is in operation. So now our attention is focused on rescue and then relief. 10,000 people are living in relief camps. It focused on, and then after this emergency is over, then you will have to turn your attention to the rehabilitation of these people. We are at a loss of words. How to describe this? You have to... We have with us Union Minister Suresh Gopi here. Sir, you have come here to take stock of the situation, but there's also politics playing on the other hand. How do you see, on one hand, the disaster ridden place and the other politics playing out? That's what I do. Politics has no game to play here. There is no gallery. There is no playground. It's all been taken by Mother Nature. Play as humans. But there but is technically, 
putting up a question needs an answer so don't take politics or drag that question and answer into a political table but do you believe that the congress has not been accountable in terms I of uh, say such things i never did it i don't say the congress also trying to uh, move a privilege motion against mr amit shah what's your take sir let them let them the state versus st uh, center uh, tussle how do you see that with respect to the alerts not given on time that is what i said here the tussle is nullified state is looking at the life of the people and the life of the people who are watching this debacle the debacle is the focus so state is settling down center also so my final question any lessons learned from this this is not the time we were taught lessons but we forgot those lessons this is a reminder to provoke our thoughts if you have your thoughts for a burial ground sprout rice that's all thank you so much sir.